All right, everyone, so this video is going to be about um, starting a new file, and uh, we're going to kind of move from that into talking about like how to actually just set up your first generic architectural structure. And we don't have a plan to work off of. We're just going to create like this little square box house looking thing um, just to get us oriented in the software and modeling and understanding what that's like. So um, here in, in this class, we're largely going to be working off of what is called the out-of-the-box families and templates. Okay, the out-of-the-box template, essentially. Um, what, it, what that means by out-of-the-box, it means like you bought Revit and you download it and install it and it's preloaded with some things that you can work with. Okay, those things are generally pretty good. The standard library is generally pretty good. But when you get into an office, they have standards, they have custom families, they have certain, you know, styles of tags and everything, certain custom title block uh, families. Um, but at, generally, out of the box is going to work just fine for us. So first uh, thing you're going to do is uh, click on the R, and you're going to go to New, um, and then click on Project. All right, so in this menu, um, open up the pull down and go to Architectural Template. Um, don't worry about the create new thing here. You can create a project, which is what we're selecting, or you can create a project template and create your own custom template, which is what firms do, but we're not doing that here. So just hit okay. <clears throat> All right, might take a sec. All right. So this is the out of the box template splash screen. Um, it doesn't have like a, you know, it doesn't go right to a sheet like we opened up the other project, right? Um, what this is showing you is a floor plan. And you can tell that by looking at the properties menu in the top left right here, it says floor plan, okay? So this view is a floor plan and it has all of these, prop all of these properties here, right? The scale uh, is 1 8 inch equals a foot. Um, and I guess the rest of it is probably just going to confuse you at this stage. So we'll get there. But what are these, right? These are elevation tags. Okay. Elevation tags are going to be like your way of kind of moving to that view on the other side, right? You, we did that in class on Tuesday. Um, but I don't want you to be thinking too much about that at this stage. Okay. What we're here to do is to, um, I guess, build generic items, right? We're going to build generic walls. So um, up in the architecture tab, if you go to um, wall, um, before you actually click wall, yes? Um, so is that we're working one, one is to one in Weber, or you always working on a scale, or um, is it one is to one? Yeah, kind, kind of. I mean, like you have, actually, that's a very good question. Let me show you um, what happens real quick. So um, let me just the, the question was like, are you always working full scale or, or with like AutoCAD, sometimes you're working in a different scale. So I'm just gonna drop in like a more detailed wall to show you what I mean, just for a quick second, okay? So um, this, let's go to fine. All right, so you see that uh, this, wow, that looks terrible on the projector. Good God, all right. Um, all right, so this has multiple lines in it, okay? But they're really, really thick lines. And when I zoom in and out, you can see that the lines get thinner. So too does the wall, right? But the lines itself gets thinner, right? That's just like when you're looking at layout space in AutoCAD, if you guys are used to that. So um, at all times, the elements that you're working with sort of are real scale, but the view itself has a scale. So if I switch my view scale from eighth inch to um, half inch, you see the lines get thinner. That's because when I show it on sheet, it's it's going to be a, a larger scale, right? You get, we'll, you'll get used to this, and we'll have a more detailed discussion about it. But I want you to be, I guess, uh, not thinking too much about the elements that you're putting down on the page. Okay, and uh, should you ever find yourself in a pickle where um, the lines are far too thick, um, something like that, and you want to see all the layers, but you're like, oh no, I feel like there are more layers here, but I can't see them. You can turn off the thickness of the lines by typing in TL. That's it. TL? Yeah. Okay, so TL turns it on to thin lines or thick lines. It just, it's a toggle. So TL on, TL off. All right. Cool. 
Oh, I...